Today we're going to be playing Academic Festival. This is a short excerpt from a much longer piece written by Brahms. I will link in the description a video of the full piece that you can listen to if you ever need to be inspired by what it sounds like with a full orchestra playing. For our short excerpt today, number 50 in All for Strings Book 2, we have three sections of four measures each. It's a fast song, it's marked allegro, but we're going to be learning it at a slow tempo and then speeding it up towards the end. Our first four measures are just a collection of notes that add up to a mini scale. If you start with open D, then go to third finger G, open A, B, and C natural. Those are all the notes you need for the first four measures. When you go to that C natural, make sure that it's a low two that you've pressed it all the way up against the first finger. If it's separated a little bit, it's going to sound out of tune and it won't match with the rest of the orchestra. So when you play that low two, make sure it gets all the way up against your first finger. A couple techniques we want to keep in mind. With our bow, we are starting up bow. So you're going to need to have your bow start in the middle, not at the frog like we normally would. So you'll set your bow in the middle. It's also marked forte. So you're going to start by adding pressure so you can have a nice loud sound throughout. Our third thing is that our quarter notes are long and smooth, but our eighth notes are short. They have those staccato dots on them. So while your quarter notes will be long, your eighth notes will be nice and crisp. And your quarter notes, in order to get that long, smooth sound, make sure you use lots of bow. Pull your bow quickly. If you use a small bow, you get that kind of creaky door sound that we don't really want. We want a good quality sound. So pull lots of bow. So once you've practiced your collection of notes, D, G, A, B, C, we're going to put it together to play the first four measures. So start by setting your bow in the middle on the D string, add your pressure so we can get a good forte, and I'll count us in and we'll play together. One, two, one. And there's our first four measures. It's just that mini scale with some staccato eighth notes and nice smooth quarter notes. If you need to, go back and listen to that excerpt and play along again until you're ready to go on to measures five through eight. In the second section, measures five through eight, we have the same technique of short eighth notes and long quarter notes, but this time we're using our fourth finger, D, 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 E, four. Don't go to the open string, even though it might be easier right now for you to go 3-3-3 three, three, three open. You're going to need to get used to using your fourth finger. So this is a great opportunity. It's only one note. Use your fourth finger for that E. If you need to check the intonation, you can check the open E afterwards. And if you hear it sound different, too low or too high or just right. Checking with that open E could be very helpful. But make sure we do 3-3-3-4. Three, 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 low two and then there's a smooth quarter note on the next line we have a hook up up the reason we do up up there and not separate well the music tells us to do a hook there up up but the reason the music says do a hook is so we get our bow back to the frog if we did separate bows we'd be stuck at the tip so we go up up then we have more staccato eighth notes b a a d and that's the second section there we have our fourth finger and a hook, and that's about it. So once you're ready, we're going to play through these four measures together. Set your three fingers on the A string. One, two. Okay, same thing. If you need to practice that section a few times, go, go over it a few times, go through, over it slowly, practice with the recording, and then join me for the last four measures here. In our final section, we have the same idea but this time all of our quarter notes are also staccato. So the whole section is gonna be staccato, nice short bows, clean sound. We have another fourth finger when we go from our B to the A right here, fourth finger. And then this G, we're gonna hold for three counts. One, two, three, off. Because it's a half note, which is two counts, tied to a quarter note, which is one and two plus one is three. Because they're tied together, it's all one bow. One, two, three, 
off. Don't just go one, two, off, or you'll be playing it too short. So you wanna hold it through one, two, three, and then off. Now measures nine and 10 are the exact same thing. So if you can play measure nine, B, B, A, D, you can play measure 10, which is also B, B, A, D. That's it for the third section. I think this is probably the easiest section in the piece here. So let's play this one together and then we'll go over the whole thing together. So here is measure nine, set your first finger on the A string, one and two, go. One, two, three, off. Now we're going to play through the whole thing at a slow practiced tempo, and then we'll play it through at the allegro tempo, the same speed as the recording, which is quite fast. So let's start with the slow one. Again, when we're, because we're at the beginning and it's an up bow, set your bow in the middle, apply your pressure because it's going to be forte, and we're going to count ourselves in with an up bow. So you're moving your hand up towards your hand. One, two, one. Now we'll try it at allegro speed. So it's gonna be about one, two, one, two. It's pretty quick. So set your bow on the D string. One, two, one. And there you have it. That's Academic Festival. Again, I Highly recommend listening to the whole piece, which is about 10 minutes. This excerpt in that piece is only 12 seconds, so it's very short. But if you hear the whole piece, you'll get to see how vibrant and bright the piece by Brahms is. It's a joy to listen to. And hopefully, maybe if you keep practicing, you could play with a real orchestra playing the actual full academic festival. But for now, happy practicing with number 50 in Alter Strings Book 2.